Hey guys, Philip Vallejo here with Systematic Approach. A uh, question I get I'll ask a lot is, hey Philip, I want to get into precision rifle shooting. I just don't know where to start. So today we're going to talk about what you're going to need to get into a precision rifle match and it's specifically what I take to a precision rifle match. First things first is the actual precision rifle itself. So this is a custom rifle built by Short Action Customs. It's a six millimeter Creedmoor. I've got an Area 419 Hellfire muzzle brake on it. Bartline M40 contour barrel. Call us K624i optic with the SKMR3 reticle. Defiance action in a KRG Whiskey 3 generation six and Harris bipods. You don't specifically have to have this exact rifle. Uh, you can take any kind of rifle with you as long as it's capable of shooting one MOA uh, or less. So for your rifle, you don't specifically have to always have a, or get a six millimeter Creedmoor rifle like this. There's other great calibers out there. If you have a 308, 65 Creedmoor, those are great calibers as well. Uh, you can find great off the shelf ammo uh, with those. Uh, the reason why a lot of competitive rifle shooters go to a 6.5 Creedmoor or a 6 mil or one of those six millimeter variances uh, is because of the low recoil for them to be able to spot their own impacts. Again, this is a Collis K624i with the SKMR3 reticle. The reason I chose this reticle is uh, it's very user friendly. Um, it's got a 0 .03 witness dot right in the center that helps me uh, focus on the reticle and really aim small, miss small, um, and a good Christmas tree reticle. What I really like about it is it has subtensions every 0 0.2 mils to help with finite wind calls and even moving targets. It helps me really get that 1.2 or 1.4, unlike other reticles I've seen out there that only have uh, 0.5 witness marks. There's definitely a lot of great optics out there, uh, especially depending on what your budget is, but highly recommend that you get a first focal plane optic. So you're going to need a wider field of view. As you power down or power up your optic, you wanna ensure that your sub tensions remain the same so you're not, not doing math on the fly. You always wanna have some kind of front end support on the rifle, especially when you're shooting off your belly. I specifically utilize the Harris bipods as my go-to. This is the six to nine inch BRMS model, specifically with the Hawk Hill claw attachment. The reason why you wanna get that swivel function is just in case you're on uneven ground, you'll be able to self-correct your cant before you actually take your shot. They're easily deployable, especially if I'm running in and out of barricades for a uh, match, right? So I can quickly deploy them forward or down with just uh, pushing them down. I always carry a set of Atlas bipods as well. These are the Atlas PSR bipods. What I like about these bipods the most is they're able to fold forward at a 45 degree angle, just in case I need to get a lower profile. Another thing I like about these bipods are their ability to traverse. So if I'm looking at target engagement that have a wide lateral fan, I can easily traverse without actually causing any kind of damage, internal damage to the actual bipod. Next thing we're gonna talk about is match grade ammo. Uh, for your weapon system, you always wanna have that highest quality ammo to produce the best consistency and accuracy uh, with that one minute of angle capability. I specifically run hand loads. These are 115 DTACs uh, in Lapua brass for my six millimeter Creedmoor. However, you don't need to be a reloader in order to shoot this sport or get into this sport. There's a lot of great off the shelf options such as Prime Ammo, Hornady Ammo, and Federal Ammo that you can get and it will do just fine. Next, we're gonna talk about rifle sling. I specifically use a two point style sling for my matches. Two reasons why I carry a sling. First and foremost are weapon retention. So if I don't wanna have anything in my hands moving from one stage area to another, I can utilize the sling. Another reason why I utilize this is for positioning. So if a stage requires me to shoot offhand, I'll utilize a two point style sling. Or if I feel the need to utilize the sling in a type of barricade or any kind of positional, I'll use it to aid my shooting position. Next, we're gonna talk about rear bags. I carry two bags with me at all times. This is a tab small rear bag for when I'm shooting off my belly. Uh, I like this bag a lot, especially when I'm shooting in the prone because it helps me easily traverse uh, when I'm on my belly, right? It's such a small profile. And if I want to, I can run it on barricades by deploying my front bipod legs using the wide strap and running it just like so for that hard on soft. The Short Action Precision Solo Sack is a great all around bag. I specifically use this when I'm off my belly. So any kind of barricade work, or if the stage requires only one bag and it's both barricade and belly shooting, I'll definitely utilize this bag. Uh, this bag is great because it maximizes the surface contact with your rifle and the barricade to 
minimize that wobble. Another intricate part that I want to talk about are the magazines that I carry with my rifle. So I specifically carry two 10 round Acura mags, one of them being with a four round extender made by Masterpiece Arms. The reason why I have this extender is some PRS and NRL stages require more than 10 rounds. So this allows me to have more than 10 rounds so that I'm not conducting a speed reload uh, in the middle of my stage. Another thing I like to have uh, in regards to ammunition is this two round holder made by Short Action Precision. This thing is really nifty, especially if I have a light strike or if I forgot to load or jam the correct mag. I'll quickly just pull one of these off um, and throw it in my rifle and I'm good to go. Another thing I carry in my pack is a tripod. Uh, this tripod serves two purposes. The first purpose is actually stability of the tripod. So if I need to clear an obstacle or if the stage requires a tripod, I like to use this Pig 0311 sold by Hog Saddle with the actual Hog Saddle itself. Uh, another reason why the tripod is in my pack is to help support uh, binos, uh, which I'll get into a little later. For most matches that I attend, it's mandatory for the shooter to have eye pro. I specifically use clear lenses. I don't like to run dark lenses when I'm running a stage or behind my optic because for me, that's like adding a cheap filter in front of a $3,000 optic. So I specifically use clear lenses when I'm shooting. If it's really bright outside, and I want to preserve my eyes, I'll bring a set of polarized lenses in my pack uh, in between stages. You always want some kind of form of hearing protection in order to pres preserve your hearing. I specifically run electronic hearing, these MSAs, in order to keep situation awareness, especially when I'm actually firing, in order to always hear the commands from the range officer. Foamies work just fine. If you don't have that option, just keep in mind, uh, it's a lot harder to hear and you're gonna get sick and tired of pulling those things in and out of your ear from time to time. Next thing on my personal body is a battle belt. I run a battle belt with a dump pouch in order to help me with uh, picking up brass and my magazines and my magazine carriers. These are G-code Scorpion holsters that fit my 10 round Acura mags just perfectly. Another thing on my belt uh, is a D-ring. So if I wanna clip in to a specific type of stage in order to help st stabilize my rifle position, with this belt is a Velcro system that allows me to keep my belts on my body without sliding up or down. Some of the other essentials that I have in my pack are binos. So these are Swarovski ELR 10 by 42 binos. Binos help me identify targets, especially when there's a, a wide variety of targets. It gives me a, a large uh, field of view so that I'm not having a hard time looking for targets. Another thing that these binos double up are, are laser range finding capability. Most of the time, the PRS and NRL or whatever match that you go to, uh, they're going to give you the actual range to target. However, it's always nice for me to confirm the range to target with my own device. So I utilize these for both capabilities, laser range finding and for the acquisition of targets. Here's my tab book data cover. I carry miscellaneous shooting data gear in here. First is my Keschel 5700 Elite with the applied ballistics. This helps me with my wind conditions, my atmospherics, and help me gather my data. I've got an arm board to reference, quickly reference dopes and ranges if I need to. I also carry backup cheat sheets just in case my Keschel or my phone goes down, I always have a hard copy of all my data for my weapon system, as well as miscellaneous pens. So next thing I carry in my kit at all times is my cleaning kit slash armorous tool kit. I highly recommend that you have one of these in your pack. This allows me to clean my gun uh, in between stages if I feel like doing weapons maintenance or keep my weapon in the best condition possible, keeping it lubed, keeping it dry, uh, or keeping it completely uh, clean against the environment. Um, or if something goes wrong, if I need to replace the trigger or if I need to do any kind of maintenance to the rifle on the fly, I have all the tools necessary in order to do that in the field. Uh, another thing is chamber flags. You always wanna have chamber flags. Most of the time that you go to these kind of matches, the range officers and the match directors would like you to have uh, that to know that your rifle is safe and clear at all times. All right, guys, keep in mind, this is a sport, a uh, sport that requires a lot of your attention and energy, okay? Uh, so with that, you always wanna have some kind of snack and a source of hydration in your pack. I carry water with me at all times, whether it be water bottles or a Camelback or even um, just a little canteen. And then uh, snacks, again, 
beef jerky, throw some beef jerky in your pack. Uh, I throw beef jerky in my pack and uh, some Cliff Bars, something to keep uh, my blood sugars high uh, so that I'm focused at all times. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pack everything up for these matches. I usually like to protect my rifle uh, from the elements. So this is a soft carrying case or a drag bag made by Tactical Taylor. Simple, easy to use, not too cl clustered. And last but not least, you always want a good day pack or a good pack in order to carry all this stuff without it actually killing your back. So I specifically use the Mystery Ranch three day assault pack. So with this, uh, I'll go ahead and pack the items that I probably won't need immediately first. And that's all she wrote. Again, this is uh, Philip Vallejo with Systematic Approach. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we're gonna be coming out with a whole series of vid videos dedicated to that precision rifle shooter. Whether you be a new shooter, experienced level shooter, I want you to take these videos and help you with your precision rifle game. Hey guys, like, subscribe, comment, any questions that you have regarding the video or anything that you guys wanna see in the future. And don't forget to follow me at Vallejo underscore 0317. All right, guys, keep your face on the gun. Till next time.